as an industry, I think the ongoing sustainability of all of our businesses uh, requires innovation. This may seem like a motherhoody statement, but I think businesses and organisations need to take a wider view of innovation other than just getting the, the new product on the shelf. Given the amount of new products launched every year, it's clear that lots of businesses are spending lots of time and resource to, to get new products to the shelf. But you can see that the majority of these aren't successful and they fail to make an impression with consumers or, in fact, our customers. We've got innovation at our core, and over the last five years, we've gone from the vessels all the way through to consumers. For example, over the last five years, we've re-engineered our business, and we've started with the vessels that are catching the fish. We're in a joint partnership with the government and two other major seafood companies, and we've reinvented the way we're going to fish in the future. This unique fishing method um, affects the whole ecosystem. So it, instead of using mesh nets, uses polythene-like bags with escape holes so the little fish can get out, which means that we're not catching undersized fish, and equally we can get rid of things that we aren't intending to catch. This has massive benefits for the fishery itself from an actual sustainability perspective, but actually the fish coming up out of the water are higher quality, which has a flow-on impact into consumers. And equally, that has massive economic benefit for New Zealand. And that's a unique way of actually applying innovation to your total business. I think we need to spend more time doing better, not cheaper. And focusing around our innovation, around premiumization, how do we add value to consumers? And we've seen it in multiple categories where this has added value. If you just look at ice cream and chocolate, for example. However, even with a stable, non-treat category, it's possible to add value. So for example, at Sealab we've developed a premium range within our ambient tuna category. It's changed the way consumers actually buy. It's the unique flavours that they can't get anywhere else. And it's added real value to the consumer and our customer through premiumisation what is a relatively stable category. We've all spent a lot of time and money developing our brand social networks. I think we need to think about how we can use them differently and how do we engage those consumers to help us innovate better. We recently used our Facebook community to actually help us choose the flavours for our new products that we're going to be launching in the upcoming months. Like the feedback from our and comments from our consumers who are so engaged in our brand and actually helped us fine tune the products we we're going to launch was amazing. I think it's all about thinking about innovation more globally in a macro view versus just I want a new product on the shelf and look at innovation all the way through your value chain and think about well where can I make differences or changes that's going to make a benefit to our consumer because ultimately the consumer buys the products. And so how do we get them to see value in whatever we're doing around our innovation? And I think some companies are really good at it, but I think there's a lot of work to be done across the industry around making sure our innovation is well targeted and well understood by consumers and actually drives value for not only the businesses but our customers as well. Mm -hmm.